Hey, what's up, everyone? It's TK here. TK RDS here with a seasonal wrap up. I don't do this often. I probably did before in the past, but I'm bored. Feel like doing a seasonal wrap up. I just actually wrapped up an anime. And I was like, you know what? Let me do this. Let me recognize some of the uh, anime from the summer season. I did this before in the past. I don't do it often, but I usually just like, these are the anime that went on last season. You should check it out if you didn't watch it. Pretty much, that's what this is. <clears throat> I'm only gonna talk about probably like probably like three or four of these. That's all I really was rocking with for the season. So this one just wrapped up yesterday. This is a uh, Jobless Reincarnation season two. Actually, it's like technically it's two seasons, but it was like part one of season one. They had like a part two of the season one. So this one actually has a part two coming, I think. I don't think it's going to be called Jobless Reincarnation, Jobless Reincarnation 2. I mean, season three. It's probably going to be called season two, part two. Because at the end, they said, wait for the next part. So I'm thinking they're doing like that. So this is a, this is technically the third season, but really the second season. Or well, I'm just saying it wrong. I don't know. Whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. It had, this has like three different seasons, really. But it's this. they saying this is the second season. So this was a... Um, this has been going on for quite a while. I've been enjoying this anime a lot. Um, this one is not so PG, so I would say maybe don't watch it around your kids. It kind of have a little sexual stuff in there a little bit. Um, what's that rating they got? Oh, it's a average rating is eight, eight point something. Okay, not bad, not bad, but um. Uh, if you haven't checked out Jobs Re Reincarnation, go check it out. Like I said, it's like really three seasons because it's a part one to the first season. And it's going to be a part two. And that's why when back when I did the summer highs in season, I was like, I swear it's way more seasons than just two. It's because they separated the parts. So go and check that out if you haven't. I would highly recommend it. One of the highest animes in the season right here, that, that Zone 100, which is still going on. It should have ended like this week. But since... Their scheduling is so weird. I'm not sure if the air episodes or the summer episodes that was supposed to air is coming on holidays during Japan or not. I don't know, but their scheduling has been way off. And they posted a tweet earlier today saying follow the accounts to get updates on the next three episodes that's coming out soon. So y'all don't really got to follow, follow the accounts if y'all really want to. I'll follow, I'll follow when they have been following it ever since back then but i'll i'll put out a little thing in the community board let y'all know if episodes coming out this week or that week i'll be doing i'll be doing that this whole season actually but i mean so i've been keeping up it so these two definitely recommend to watch as y'all might have noticed jujitsu kai in season two i dropped it let me tell you why i dropped it because i wasn't feeling it so pretty much, it kind of was like a, it kind of like went back in time. It's like a, they showing the teachers past, their teachers like when they were in their younger days, pretty much. That's what they were showing for most of the parts that I was watching on the season. And I just wasn't feeling it. And I didn't really care. If I'm watching something, I don't care. I'm just going to stop watching it. So Jujutsu Kaisen, season two had to get dropped because I wasn't caring for it. Um, let's see what else, what else I watched. Uh, this is, uh, like a second season of, uh, Hori Mia. This came out, I forgot what the first one came out, but this is, like, a extra season, kind of showing some delicious with the friends and stuff. It wasn't, it's like a continuation of, of their, their story, the main characters right there, but, uh, it's just, like, some little light stuff. It wasn't anything that big, whatever. But if you did like Corby, I, I would recommend you go check it out. But so far, I'm recommending definitely these two if you haven't gotten to the, the series. Like I said, go back, watch the other parts of the Jobless Reincarnation. If Psalm 100 is still airing, it's going to be still airing during the uh, fall season since the weird scheduling. Oh, yes, this. I forgot about this. Masamune Revenge. They redeemed themselves. That's what the R stands for. Master Moon, they revenge, redemption. That's what the R stands for. Because they redeemed themselves. 
if you watch my uh, video, I did a video for the the seasonal for summer 2023, and I did like a rant. I was like, the ending was so disappointing. They fast, they kind of rushed the ending, and it was unexplained. They redeemed themselves. They redeemed themselves on this season. Uh, they gave us like some backstory stuff, telling us why she was acting this type of way against them, blah, blah, blah. And they, they kind of explained that ending too of the first season. You kind of know why she was like that with that other character that just magically appeared. So we got answers. We got answers for things, and it rocked up in a pretty good way, I think. So they redeemed themselves. You see, I completed it. I don't know why I gave them. Or I gave it. I gave it an eight. <clears throat> yeah, I gave it an eight. So yeah, they redeemed themselves. That's what that R stands for. Massimo they revenge redemption because they redeemed themselves after that two thousand and what seventeen. That's when the first one season came out. Two thousand seventeen. They redeemed themselves after that horrible ending. So yeah, I would recommend you check out the first season and check out this one. This is the one I actually just finished wrapping up before I did this video. This is, uh, I believe the English title is The Girl I Like Always Forgets Her Glasses. Or Let me just click on it. Let me get on the actual title. It's like The Girl like Forgets Her Glasses. Oh yeah, Forgot Her Glasses. So this is like a nice kind of, uh, it's like a slice of life. Will I say a slice of life? Let's see what they say it is. What you got it for? They got it as a comedy. I mean, it's a little bit comedic. It's not that much comedic. It is. I find it like it's like a sweet anime. I would say it's like a nice, sweet, chill, relaxing type of anime. It's like kind of like a little love story. It says comedy, but it's kind of like a little love story. It does have little comedic moments, but it's not laugh my ass off type of comedy, I would say. But it's a nice, sweet anime. Definitely, I recommend you check it out if you want something not so serious and sweet little anime. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? See something else I dropped because it, it was in Game of My Entrance. Another anime I dropped was in Game of My Entrance. All right, this is probably, oh, okay, we got, let's go to this one at the bottom first, Temple. So it's like an edgy harem type uh, anime. Uh, this guy, his dad was like a player and he didn't want to be nothing like his father. So every time he had naive thoughts or something like that, he would like hit himself in the face, try not to think about it and whatnot. So he ran into his girl. Uh, I forgot what made him. Oh, he went, he tried to go to a temple because he kept on having naive thoughts. And the temple was this temple run by the girl right here. Right there. She's like the, uh, well, no, that's a sister. I think that's her. Yeah, he was trying to go to a temple to try to be, like, rid himself of naughty memories and stuff, but he came to a place that's actually, like, a, supposedly like a nursery-type temple or something like that. But he ends up living there and stuff, building, relationship, building like, type of relationship. Not a team relationship, but, like, a type of relationship. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice, cool anime. Um, it is edgy. That was cool. The last one I'm really going to talk about is this Dark Gathering. I don't think it's any other anime in the season. I know uh, I know Eden Zero. Eden Zero is still going on. That's going. That's, that's like a 24-episode season. Oh, this one is decent, too. It's, it's not nothing. Uh, this probably going to have a second season, probably. Maybe. This one will end next week. Or this week coming. You can check that one if you want to, too. And before I talk about the last one, this one started way back, like, another season ago. And then they resumed it this season. Nice, edgy type love story, wannabe thing. It, it's okay. You can check it out. You ain't going to get the edgy I want, though. I know some people want a certain type of edgy. ain't that type of edgy. I mean, they do got some scandalous looking stuff, but not the edgy. I know the hardcore edgy people want. Let me scroll back up real quick. So, Jobless Reincarnation, Zone 100. Uh, the Girl I Like Forgot Her Glasses. Master Moon Lady, Revenge, R. And this one right here, Dark Gathering. So, this is, uh, it has a manga that's going on right now. And I saw the manga before the anime actually was starting to air. So, I was like, 
okay, I see, I saw the monk already, I saw the monk was already, because monk was already out, and I was thinking about getting it, because I was a horror, and they're like, oh, it's the anime coming out very soon, so I'm like, okay, I'll just watch the anime for it. So far, pretty got named it, so Dark Gathering, pretty much the main character, Katero, he's like, uh, he had some type of event happen with his best friend, which is one of the girl characters on this, on this show. Some type of event happened because he'd been seeing spirits or whatnot. And they kind of got, they got some type of curse from the spirits. And his best friend, she has a cousin, a young cousin. She experienced some type of curse or ghost type thing that happened when the family had got into an accident. And the spirit, like, took her mother. So her mother's soul or something like that. So she's been hunting down other spirits to try to like gather up a whole army of spirits that's strong enough to take down this one evil one to save her mother's soul pretty much so that's probably that's pretty much the plot of this one nice horror anime haven't seen no good horror animes in a long time so i highly recommend this one as you see 12 episodes seen still got 20 well we still got a few more to go like 13 more to go uh very good anime in my opinion i got it as good might, I might pop it up a little bit more. We still got a few episodes to go, though. So, But yeah, overall, I highly recommend this one. If you want a horror, thriller-type anime, this is the best I've seen in quite a while. The other good one I've seen, which I might have to go grab the manga. Well, actually, I think, I think, they, I think it got axed. So I might not grab it. That freaking Gleefer thing when the, when the girl was going inside the boy that's, that turned into a teddy bear. That thing was very interesting, but I think the anime got... I think the manga got axed, so the anime probably not gonna come back either. I think, I don't know, but that is the anime's not anime wrap up. My summer twenty twenty three anime wrap up. Those are the ones you should check out once again, once again. Psalm one hundred, Chalice reincarnation, the uh, Masamune revenge redemption. Um, the girl I like forgot glasses. In dark gathering. So let me know what y'all liked and enjoyed for the summer 2023 season of anime. Probably recommend something to me. I like Dolly. I used to check out I used to check out animes that dropped throughout the season. So those are the ones that stood out to me and I enjoyed. Uh if you haven't already, go check out my fall 2023 uh seasonal animes that I'm looking forward to. The highest in the season. The best one will be turning finally. That Goblin Slayer. Go check out that video though. And uh, leave your thoughts if you want to. Don't be stingy. Give me a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.